This tutorial video is going to show you how to achieve direct wireless control of your robot using the joysticks and buttons found on the VEX remote controller. We will do this by mapping our motors to the joysticks and buttons on the controller through programming in Robot C. Let's start out by taking a look at the controller that you are already familiar with. Each remote control has two joysticks. They are the two round knobs which are identified by their channel numbers. To access the y-axis of the right joystick, the command would involve channel 2. To access the x-axis on the left joystick, the command would involve channel 4, and so on. There are a total of 12 programmable buttons on the remote control. The eight buttons on the front are broken into two groups of four. The buttons on the left are associated with channel 7. The buttons on the right are associated with channel 8. Each individual button is identified by the channel number and the direction. For example, here we see buttons 8 up, 8 down, 8 left, and 8 right. The top or shoulder of the remote also has two groupings of two buttons. The two buttons on the left are associated with channel 6, and the buttons on the right are associated with channel 5. For this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to map a motor to each joystick, and then I'm going to show you how to map a motor to buttons 6 up and 6 down. Programming the joysticks is actually much easier, so we're going to begin with that. Let's start by opening up a blank robot C file. Since this video tutorial is all about mapping the buttons to commands, I've already taken care of changing all the necessary settings. I've also already loaded three motors into our motor and sensor setup. Motor left and motor right are each going to be mapped to one of the joysticks, while motor claw is going to be mapped to buttons 6 up and 6 down. Before we get going here, there are two important things to remember when programming the remote control. First, every remote control program will use the VEXRT command to access the values of the joysticks and buttons. Second, all remote control commands for the robot must be placed within some type of while loop. In our case, we will place it within an infinite while loop. The reason why we do this is because it allows our control commands to always work. It also allows for smooth, continuous control of the robot. Let's begin by building the framework for our program. First, we place our infinite while loop into robot C. Just as all of our code must fall within the brackets of our task main, all of our remote control code must fall within the brackets of our infinite while loop. Now let's program the joysticks. The template for coding the joysticks looks like this. To map our motors to the joysticks, we place the name of the motor within the square brackets right after the motor command. And then we will place the channel number within the square brackets right after the VEXRT command. In our case, we want the right joystick to control the right motor. That means motor right will be linked with channel 2. We also want the left joystick to control the left motor. That means motor left will be linked with channel 3. Let's place those commands into robot C. And that's it. These are the two commands which will control each of your joysticks. Now let's take a look at the template for the buttons. It's a little more complicated, but really not that difficult. When mapping a motor to a button, or in our case, a pair of buttons, we have to think of the code as three distinct parts. The three parts are an if statement, an else if statement, and an else statement. Just like all other commands, we place the condition within the parentheses and the output within the curly brackets. In our case, our conditions will be the buttons being pressed, and our outputs will be the motors actuating. So let's take a look at how the commands are typed into robot C. And that's it. That's the entire code. We've just programmed two joysticks and two buttons to control a single motor. I hope this tutorial video was helpful and good luck.